Just minutes from issue two going into effect in Ohio, legalizing recreational marijuana sales in the state. Today, Ohio Senate approving a revision to issue two, doing that at the last minute. Under the Senate's proposal, Ohioans 21 years of age and older would be able to buy recreational marijuana within 90 days of the bill's effective date. This is made possible by allowing medicinal dispensaries to sell to customers of legal age. And this provision is the biggest diversion from issue two as it was voted upon. Under the statute, the state's first legal recreational sale wouldn't occur until mid to late 2024, so there have been some changes. Our Andre Norrells joins us live in studio to help break down what this means for those medicinal dispensaries. Andre? Well, Jeff, let's go over what we know and what we don't know. First, Ohioans can smoke marijuana legally tomorrow, but there will be no legal place to purchase it in the state. Not yet. So when will that happen? That's up to state politicians. We spoke with the founder of what he says is the first medical dispensary to sell in Ohio about what he thinks about the changes to issue two. Jeff McCourt is the founder and CEO of Fireland Scientific, a medical dispensary here in Ohio. He's been closely following Issue 2 and the Senate's efforts to revise it. The talk over the past month since Issue 2 passed was that it might take a year or more to roll out, which is way too long from our perspective. He says he's glad to hear that the newest Senate proposal will make this process quicker. We're talking 90 days after approval instead of a whole year. And so we're really excited that it looks like the Senate and hopefully the House and the governor can all get behind a proposal that will accelerate the rollout of the program to make adult use uh, products available for uh, consumers, for adults uh, more quickly. I urge both houses uh, to pass this bill uh, right away and to send it uh, to me for my signature. That's from Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's press conference this week, showing support of the Senate bill. DeWine says the bill will speed up the time frame, giving a safer option for Ohioans. Thus, reducing the opportunity for the black market to flourish. McCourt says he also hopes the new bill will minimize the chance of Ohioans buying their weed off the street. We, we see it all over the place, illicit, unregulated, unscrupulous shops that are setting up people selling online, and it's really important that that genie doesn't get out of the bottle. McCourt says there's a few parts of the bill he thinks could be better, like the potency cap. He says this will make it harder to offer the same products consumers are used to. We're hopeful that there's an opportunity to work through this and massage some of the language a little bit before a final bill gets passed and that the tax rate ultimately doesn't end up in a, in a spot that's so high that it disincentivizes people to participate in the leg, legal, regulated, tested, tax safe market. And once again, McCourt says even if this bill proposal is passed in the House soon, it won't be until March or early spring until dispensaries are set to sell. And there's no word tonight on when the Ohio House will vote on the Senate bill. Reporting in studio, Andre Knowles, WTOL 11.